Now look, you can see that trigger X hanging out of that small mouse mouth. The minnow slid up the line a little bit. I'm just gonna get down and uh, come on. He's got that hook nice on the side. I'm surprised he's not hooked in the roof of the mouth, but he's still hooked well. Those hooks are so sharp. One reason why these hooks work so well is because they're very thin, but very strong. One thing I would caution you about, because I, I know of guys using hooks like this that are less expensive and uh, they break on them. So when you're seriously bass fishing and you're using finesse gear, like this tackle, I'm gonna have to stand up, this guy's looking pretty good here. Um, it's worth it to spend a few more dollars and to get the right terminal tackle so that you won't have problems with your fish. Look at that belly on that smallmouth. Very healthy smallmouth. So I'm just gonna get him back in the water and then re-rig my bait. These are such beautiful fish. There he goes. Now this guy messed up my line a little bit. This is where it's important to take your time. Got it untangled and I got it slid up. You know what, this is such a simple rig. You can see that way that spin shot hook is sitting. It's sitting upright. So most of the time the fish are hooked in the roof of the mouth. And this guy actually got to rehook it because it's a little bit afraid from landing a couple of fish. But this doesn't hang down when it's in the water. If you can imagine this weight bouncing along the bottom and uh, this minnow actually being horizontal to the bottom, when you pull it, it actually swims back and forth. And when the fish grab it, they just nail it. The ones that are feeding will hit the bait head first. So, but I just stress, if you're gonna use terminal tackle like this and you know, have the chance of getting four, five, six pound smallmouth or other species of fish, it's very important that you buy good terminal tackle, not the cheap stuff. So four of these in a container are about $4. They're almost a dollar each. You can get six cheap ones for like $2. But you know what? The swivel breaks apart, the hook breaks apart. It's not worth it. So if you're gonna go big, you know, to catch big fish, go big on also the hook's quality that you buy.